Wear OS by Google is based on Android. As a result, the concepts and tools you use for Android development are applicable for Wear OS. That being said, Wear OS is a different form factor. My name is Aga, and I will walk you through some key differences in wearable and mobile development. Before diving into the code, it's important to think about the user experience and focus on a use case that makes sense on a watch. If you have an existing mobile app, choose a core functionality that will work well on a watch. Once you have nailed down the use case, design for round screens first. A round screen has 22% less UI space than a rectangular display, so this will ensure that your layout works on both round and rectangular displays. Lastly, take your design for a spin. Wear OS is designed to be used on the move. As such, a UI design that works well on a computer monitor may not work in real life on a watch. Test your design using at least one Wear OS device. Great, now you have locked down the user flow and the design. What are the development tools available to you? Well, in addition to the regular Android tools, such as Android Studio, we offer APIs and support libraries to make your life easier. On the platform forum, Wear OS supports the dash round and dash not round identifiers for resources. As a result, you can have different layouts or drawables depending on the screen shapes. We find that round and square layouts tend to be the same, so maybe two dimension files containing different padding and margins are all you need. Try it out. In addition, we have added a number of UI components that are round aware in the Wear UI library. For example, the wearable recycler view, a round aware recycler view, um, the box inset layout, which keeps all the contents in the center square of a circle, and the swipe dismiss frame layout, a UI pattern on Wear OS for dismissing views. In addition to round designs, Wear OS supports always on apps that have longer user sessions. By default, when the user is not using your app, Wear OS dismisses it and returns to the watch face. While this works well for apps with a short user flow, it works less well when you are trying to check items off while shopping in the local market. Other examples include exercise or travel apps. That's why we created the Always On feature. With Always On apps, when the user is not using your app, the watch will go into ambient mode turning off the processor, but keeping your app in the foreground. This reduces battery use while making app resume fast and fluid. While your app is in ambient mode, you can update it once a minute, providing useful updates to the user. To implement this, your activity will need to implement ambient mode support dot ambient callback provider and tell Wear OS how it should render the screen while in ambient mode. With Wear OS by Google, you're developing on top of a fully featured operating system with access to GPU and sensors. If you have an existing mobile app, consider which key user flows make sense for Wear OS, which actions will be better on the wrist than on the phone. So what will you make? Mm -hmm.